Hi, it's Fraser here. Let me tell you a little story about how I started my property um, investment career. I started my first property-based business back in 2005 with just £1,000. Really, all I had was just the idea. Now at the time, buy-to-let investment was very popular, but it was difficult and time-consuming. Nowadays, there's lots of property seminar and education companies, but at the time, there were very few. And the ones that existed just did the training, and then once the seminar was over, that was it. So I believe there was room for a full service business that not only offered training, but continued to help investors by finding them properties that they could choose to invest in. So I operated in a kind of a niche of people who wanted to invest in property, and they were generally cash rich, but time poor. And as I said, there are many companies doing this now, but there weren't at the time. And I didn't have enough money to do any marketing, but what I did, I found someone, an investor who wished to buy a property. I found a property for him and he paid me a £3,000 finder's fee. And then used that fee to build and promote a website that enabled people to buy investment property online from the comfort of their armchair. And it did what it said on the tin, so I called it the armchair property investor. And I grew it very quickly to 11,000 plus members using the strategies and methods I now teach others to use in their property business. And these are extremely effective strategies that I've used since then to build, well, three other multi-million pound property related businesses. Anyway, going back to Armchair Property Investor, um, in our very first year, I managed to sell £60 million worth of investment property. I then won Property Entrepreneur of the Year Award, and soon after that, two different companies approached me wanting to buy the company. Now, I wasn't particularly interested at first as it was generating a really good monthly cash flow, but um, kind of towards the end of 2007, I could tell that market conditions were beginning to change. and so. I decided to do a deal with one of these companies and I then ended up selling the business for 2.2 million pounds, which was you know, great because it was just two years after starting the business. And as I mentioned, since then, I've used those same strategies that I used to build Armchair to scale several other successful businesses, including a property crowdfunding company that I grew to a valuation of 29 million. And what I've learned is you don't need a lot of money to scale your business effectively. There are lots of clever, effective, low or no cost methods you can use, which work in almost any business. And then when you start generating money, you reinvest the profits in more marketing. And if you do that, you can bootstrap your company without the need to ever go cap in hand to the bank to borrow money to finance your business. Now, if that's of interest, I've created a free online training for people who want to build what I call a freedom business that gives them both the money and the free time they want. If you'd like to learn more, then just sign up for the free training by clicking on the link um, below this video, and I'll show you exactly what those strategies are and how you can start using them today. So I look forward to seeing you on the training.